Mm. Yeah. Are we doing a coffee chat? It's That's not coffee. It's, it's wait, 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 hey, look. They can't see that. They can see this. They can't see the cookies? No, they can see the cookies. No. Okay. All right. Well, I at least am doing it correctly. I had my coffee earlier. I needed it. I had my coffee earlier. You say that as if there's a time limit. It was there's just, no time limit. It was limit. necessary. <laughs> it was necessary to have it early. Now I'm ready for the red <sighs> wine variety. Anyway. So it so, is Labor Day weekend. It is the it's August 30th, the last day of August. Yeah. Okay. We have decided that I'm going to run. No, tomorrow's the last day of August. Last day's the last day. It's the 30th. 30 days, half September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31. Except August. The calendar's right there, August 31st. Tomorrow's the last day of Today's the last <laughs> working day of August. Okay, got it. I got it. What do you think I'm at? Yeah. So. Oh. We there's a couple ladies in our neighborhood that actually last weekend ran an Ironman successfully. Yes. Ironman finishers. Um, Iron women. Iron women. Well, but they, I mean, Iron Man. An Iron Man, you got to spell it in all caps, like Iron Man, because well, that's what you do. Anyway, so I'm gonna run so an Iron Man. We You're decided. Run an Iron Man? No, no, I have an Iron Man. I'm, gonna, I'm getting a lot of mileage. It is. It's an iron. You were getting some mileage. He did. He pulled this over on the chamber <laughs> luncheon, dude. Yeah, I got an iron man. And everyone was like laughing hysterically. No. Several were on the floor, I literally know, rolling. We were not. I, I was there. Even when I showed the indiglo light, can you see that? Okay. Hey. So I thought we would talk about because you. I'm gonna run a, an iron man. You're gonna run an iron. Why man? not? Why wouldn't I? I mean, not like soon. <laughs> you might want to ask Erica to help you train for that. She's a girl. She did the Iron Man. So obviously that means that I can do it. Anyway. I think that. <laughs> I would too if I had a place to swim, but there's no place to swim, so I guess my hands are tied on that. Okay, sure. Surely. Did you just call me Shirley? Shirley, Shirley. All right, so, hey, today I thought we would talk about um, cell phones, communication, because today at lunch we had an interesting conversation about um, the need to help the youths that are coming up, the youths. She said youths, my cousin Vinny. <laughs> coming up and how they're afraid to use the telephone. Not even afraid, they just... It's a yeah. conscious decision. It's like it's not a part of their life. And this, the conversation started because I was reading an article about um, the new, the younger generation. Some people call them millennials. I don't like labeling people. Um, but this younger generation that's grown up with phones mm -hmm. and texting and, um, and nonverbal communication. And they, that is their preferred method of communication. And it's causing problems in some businesses, especially in sales, where they want their employees to speak with the customers on the phone mm -hmm. and the employees don't want to do it and in fact don't know how or are afraid of doing it and some businesses don't even have a work phone anymore they don't want you to call which to me is is interesting so it brings up should we talk to people um, or have more communication with people yeah I mean we yeah so and in one um, consultant, and if you, yeah, so you can ask Catherine, I'm, I'm a big fan of consultants uh, because, um, you know, <laughs> I love consult. yeah, there's... We're in the wrong business. We're obviously doing the wrong yeah, job. Because if you can't solve the problem, there's good, no, if you don't have a solution, there's good money to be made in prolonging the problem or something like that. I don't know. So you hire consultants. Yeah, and some of these companies are doing that. There was one company that was hiring, and a woman was coming in two days a week, $1,800 a day, to teach the workforce there how to use the phone, to give them phone skills, which to me is amazing. Wow. It's absolutely amazing. I understand it because eight years ago, when we lived in Orlando, I worked in a sales organization. Our primary means of communication was phone. 
and even then, a lot of people, and myself, I would do it too. You want to check in on a quote, mm -hmm. and you know, do you call? You just kind of send them an email. It's easier. And interestingly, some of the customers, that's how they would respond. Mm -hmm. But not everybody. Some customers, you know, you send them an email. That's just an easy way to avoid right the conversation, right. and they're they're happy to get the email because that means it's easier. It's easier to, to say no. Yeah, or just not reply at all. Right. So. But what was interesting because you brought this up because um, one of the the librarians that I, um, I used to work with, um, she shared a video clip. And I'll try and put a link below, but the video clip share, showed how our communication skills have changed because everybody's doing this, you know. Talk to me. I don't have my phone with me. Right, exactly. And the head's down doing the texting thing. But if this was a phone, oh, this would I was going to text off. you. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. This <laughs> is what would be going on. Okay, and so the video shared... Hang on, I just sent you something. Did you get that? No, it's a cookie. Put the cookie in. Anyway, it shared how people so don't I'm communicate to... with one another. And, again, I will, I will do that. But we have come across... <laughs> we have come across that when we've gone to a restaurant. And you and I, when we went to Lexington the last time... <laughs> the last time in Lexington... I, you know, Blaine and I were sitting there, and this couple came in at about the same time we did, mm. and the entire time they were there, they did not talk to one another, um, they were doing this on their phones. It was an older couple, which kind of surprised me, mm -hmm. older than us, um, but I, I just sat and watched them on and off the entire time we were there, 30, 40 minutes. They were on their phones, and I, I remember one time the lady had something on her phone, and she leaned over to show her husband, and he kind of went, mm -hmm, and they were back at it again the entire time they were there. And then the food comes, it was and sad. then then they you know eat. Well, they were eating um, with one hand and using their phone with the other. It's I mean it, it is, is it's not just a, it's an addiction almost. Uh, I've heard somebody refer to phones. As, uh, you know, adult pacifiers because people yeah. freak out. Maybe you do too. I don't know. They freak out if they if their phone is not within arm's reach, and that yeah. they're always doing it. We have youth that, that work here in the city, and they'll they'll mow the grass during the summer, and frequently they will stop right in the middle of mowing and answer a text, and just standing there in the middle of the grass. It'll buzz them or something. It'll buzz them, or they're you know, and and they'll stop and just right there or they'll continue pushing and text while they're pushing and, and when you're pushing a lawnmower if you, yeah. you know that doesn't work too good but that's just but it's a, like I, it's I attached to the hip why does it have to be attached at your hip like that why can you not sit down and have a conversation with somebody look them eye to eye look them eye to eye and have a conversation with somebody is that uncomfortable that was a little in my space yeah. I'm sorry that was a <laughs> um, yeah and and but really um, but then we have to pay a consultant to teach people how to communicate on the telephone. Mm -hmm. Kind of sad. And manners. And ma oh yeah. Like eating in the middle of a video while you're doing or it, talking with food in your mouth. Where do people come from? <laughs> anyway, I just think it's interesting. It's just like a different generation, a different thing going on. What do you guys think? It's interesting to see how it's evolving too. Because yeah. 15 years ago, was this 2013? Late 90s, okay, maybe a little bit sooner than that. I think late 90s, I got my first phone. And it was beautiful. I had one of the little things that you pulled up the antenna. I still have it. Anyway, uh, 20 years ago, nobody had a cell phone except the rich and famous, and it was this big thing. And they made a big show out of load. Everybody see their mobile right. phone. And then everybody got a phone, and remember when you you constantly hear phones ringing in the restaurant, and hang on, I've got to get this, and people would talk on their phone in the restaurants or in theaters, mm -hmm. and and that has, it kind of, if you think about it, it doesn't happen nearly as much anymore. Now, it's texting. Nobody really talks on their phones. I'm not telling you anything you don't know. 
Yeah. Some people do, but the majority now is texting. And it's just interesting. You know, when I was in high school, everybody, digital watches were, were big. big. And every hour, 10, 11, 12, you'd hear, that. you'd hear a half a dozen or more watches chime on the hour. You know, the beep, mm-hmm. beep, beep. And the teachers would drive them nuts. You never hear that anymore. That was a very big for a while there. That's right. what you heard. That's gone away. The phones came out. People talked on them. Now they don't talk on them, but they do everything else, videos. And I'm talking a lot, by the way. Maybe <laughs> I should. We should do a, a text coffee chat with where we don't yeah. actually speak. We, we just we just do out. this and go. I'm sure there's a way to do that. I'm Probably. sure, but we're kind of, yeah, we're not going to do that. Um. No, I just think that, and, and it, for me, I think it's very important. Dinner time has always been an important factor in our house. You can ask our older kids. But, you know, as your kids get older and they're doing stuff in their way, it's hard to sit down and have dinner and have that conversation, but that's one of the things that has been a big thing for us is that um, no matter where you are, no matter what you're doing, dinner time is important. That's when we come together and we try to do that. And it gets harder and harder as yeah, things get older. and things get busier. You know, the last thing I'll say about communicating is I prefer whenever, and she'll kind of tell you, I hate talking on the phone. I just don't like it. An email and texting, it takes, it just takes too long. Talking is so much faster and you can use your hands, right? And you've got the tone and body language, all this stuff, if you can do it face to face. And that's how I would prefer talking with anybody, even if it's a difficult topic. Because when you're talking to somebody on a phone, whether you're speaking into it or texting, you're communicating not with the person, you're communicating with the, the phone. The phone is communicating with the person. And that's what I love about face-to-face is it's her and it's me, and there's nothing in between us. There's no third party. It's it's right here. It's live. It's quick. Or it can be slow. Mm-hmm. It can be painfully slow sometimes for arguing. We, we rarely argue. Well, it's, that's, and I think that's because we actually talk. We take the time to talk. That's been something that we have done since we we've been married. When Blaine and I got married, um, we I had two kids before, and they were young. What? <laughs> and they were young, and um, when, when were you planning to let me know? <laughs> um, but the the thing about it is, especially um, when your kids are little, you forget about your spouse because you're so involved especially as a woman you get very involved with your kids and you're tired and all that kind of stuff and it's just like I'll see you later let me just go to bed I only want to do is sleep but I think you know we've done that because we felt that was really important to because we felt it was important to keep that communication going because we didn't want to lose that and I think a lot of couples do and obviously now with phones and texting that has taken over and a lot of times it's a method of control and, and I have you know and or I, insecurity yeah. I have I have been around a group of ladies that instead of we'd be standing around in a group and instead of talking it was very uncomfortable for them mm-hmm. and instead of having that conversation they'd be like pulling out their phones doing the phone instead and be like and I'm standing there going okay <laughs> but you'll never get better at, at talking communicating unless Right. Yes, you do it. Right, exactly. Awesome. Cool. Good chat, Ben. Mm-hmm. It all depends. If we made our... Where are you going? Hang on. i got to get my phone. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. So, we want to hear what you guys think, more importantly, and um, your thoughts. And if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe. And yes. My cookie phone. <laughs> Yummy. <laughs> <laughs>